Three, two, one. Oh, wait, we're filming? We're not This doing is that. Dalton Chestnut bringing you WFLL News live from Studio B119. And here with me today is my lovely host, Alex Cordes. Thank you very much, Dalton. Today we're bringing you breaking news on tire safety. More and more reports of injury and even death have been sent in due to, due to blown tires. When researched, the problem seems to occur in the tire's age. While tires are expertly manufactured, extended storage time seems to weaken them. And oftentimes, people buy tires that are up to 12 years old, thinking they're actually brand new. Sharpie, what do you have for us? Thank you, Alex. Unfortunately, there's an accident today that shows exactly what we're talking about. This car was driving down the road when it had a tire blowout. Miraculously, only one of the three people were injured enough to be needed to be taken to the hospital. The police said the accident was the result of tire failure. The owner of the car said the tires were brand new. But when the police looked at the age of the tires, they were actually seven years old. And now here's a clip of Justin with JD at Frank's Tires. Thanks, Dalton. Hello, hi. hi, my name is Justin. Can you hear me? Uh, There's somebody who wouldn't know how to tell her. Uh, yeah, the, the, you told me the age of the tire? Yeah, just, you can look on any tire that's sold in the company in the United States. Look for the first code that says DOT. There'll be a sequence of numbers and, and alpha letters. And just go to the last set, which is the last four. And this is the week that it's made, the 37th week of 09. You're quite welcome. Thank you. We appreciate y'all coming by. Back to you, New School. So what was your take on the interview, Chris? JD gave us great information on how to read the tire codes. The problem is that most people don't even know that the, that the code is on the tires. To find the codes, you may have to take the tire off the car or crawl under the car to see the back side of the tire. Also, people don't know how to read the code. Shelf life is also a big problem for consumers. Frank's is a much more resp respectable business than many. In many stores, tires sit on the shelves for many years. The salespeople don't even know how to, how old the tires are, or that the sales, or that the dangerous, or that they are dangerous if they are too old. What can be done to fix this? I think the media needs to advertise the importance of the tire age, so the consumer knows that they should check it. I also think the code needs to be easy to read and should be put on both sides of the tire. Great. Well, thank you for your time, Chris. Now for a commercial on a um. A handsome fluter? Oh, a new computer. Jeez, who's running the teleprompter, squirrels? Now we have with us Dr. Schizoid, world renowned for his techniques in improving and innovating the tire industry. Dr. Schizoid, welcome to the show. Guten Tag, Dr. Schizoid. Dr. Schizoid, can you please speak English? Oh, yes, my apologies. As I was saying, Studio B-190 is an interesting environment for an experiment I am currently working on. I took the liberty of setting it up in the back room. Did our producers approve of that? Uh, I don't think so, but roll with it. How nice. Well, as today we're discussing the important issue of tire safety, Dr. Schizoid, could you please explain to us how your experiment pertains to the issue at hand? Yes. My hypothesis is that if the tire were to be stored in a humid or moist environment, then the shelf life would be extended. So, kind of like the sonnet my gym. No, not at all. You see, part of the problem is that over the years, tires dry out and lose their elasticity, much like a rubber band that has sat in a closet for too long. This makes the tire extremely unsafe and unstable, so when the tire has to support the weight of a moving vehicle, it then separates, causing a, um, a blow up, if you will. If the problem begins with the drying out of the tire, I propose it will be solvable with the reverse process, moisturization. Thank you, Dr. Schizoid. So remember, overage tires can be dangerous, and you should always check your tire codes before putting them on your car. The Department of Transportation recommends that your new tires be no older than three years. If you are interested in learning more about this topic or more about Dr. Schizoid's experiments, you can visit the websites below. Now this is Alex Cordes and Dalton Chestnut signing off. Have a great evening.